brush this piece of jewelry for this gossip that I'm about to deliver. Yes, indeed! I am coming to you twice in one week. The schedule is cleared. I have nothing to do. Fashion friends, this has been a week. To talk about it. You know, I usually leave all this other gossipy things, the award ceremonies and TV shows up to, you know, Funky Dinevas and Tamayas and all those girls out there in the, you know, YouTube world, but I had to jump in on this myself. Baby, this has been a messy week. I don't know what has been more messy or has it been the Real Housewives of Atlanta? Has it been, you know, Phaedra and Apollo or has it been the Grammys? What is going on? But I got a clock of tea, I got my sexy look on tonight because I wanted to be very sexy, you know. I'm gonna just sit here and gossip and just kiki, and we're gonna eat. Cause you know I love to eat, it's like I got these big hips. So, we are about to go, we're about to go off. I was talking to some of my girls on Facebook and we were just sitting back, just having a good old time and things. Yes, Miss Ebony CEO Smith. Yes, Shanika Wagner. It's all my other girls that were just tuned in on the video. We're gonna be gossiping, honey. We're just gonna talk about it all, girls. Just the real nasty tea. So, you know, How Size of Atlanta came on on Sunday. And girl, I just could not stay in the bed as I watched the show. I was literally just bouncing off of my bed because it was just so much messiness going on. And girl, Nene, you did that. You are no good. You are no good. I'm gonna just jump around to bits and pieces of this whole review thing because I don't really review the shows like this. I just wanna talk to my good, good, good girlfriends about what was going on. So anyway, you know, the Kenya's trying to have this baby, honey, artificial sperm and bang. She's going out there shopping with Miss Lawrence, picking out sperm and looking at penises and men and girl, it's just, it's just a big old mess. It's, it's really hilarious. Then you have, you know, Phaedra, you know, putting her over the top as usual, girl, with her children's ceremony things going on. But ask me this, why did, um, what's the queen name? You know, fixed nose, cheekbones, face, D Dwight, you banks. Why did that girl pull up in that car like that? Like, girl, did you not want to wash that this vehicle before you pulled up? And then she stepped out there with what? I'm not gonna go on her H and M blazer or her little five ninety nine shades. I'm I'm not gonna do that because that's messy. But I was expecting her to at least have on a piece that she just couldn't get from the off the sale rack. But anyway, on to the good stuff, girl. Nene, you did that. I lived for you last season because you were very much so glamorous. You were over the show. That's why I lived for you. But this season, honey, ever since all of your projects were dropped, you made sure that you took your crown back as the queen of gossip and the queen of messiness and the queen of starving and the queen of agitating and the queen of just causing confusion because that's who you are. Girl, my sponsor, but that's who you are because they had a pajama party that Nene put together and invited all the couples to. In this pajama party, I guess the setting was supposed to be sexy, romantic, you know, couples just counseling and therapy. Child, that turned into WWE tease, honey. Yep, Nene stirred the pot. Nene got, Nene, in my opinion, I swear she was acting very doped up. Did anybody just get, I mean, she was just prancing from left to right. She was giving, she, she was just giving me very much so Whitney Houston tease. I mean, she was on it. Girl, I mean, she just, did you see how she was acting? Like, I was going to expect it for her to put out a rag and just start patting her head every five seconds. You know how dope things get, girl. They be just sweating every five minutes. But I was literally expecting for her to just start busting out sweating because she was acting very doped up and turned up the whole time during this pajama party. Like, literally, she was. <clears throat> So, Kenya Moore was like, you know, Kenya is just the principal and the princess of just going around promoting, being on time and things of this nature, but Kenya was late. So, Nene decides that she wants to eat all of this lateness up. She wants to literally throw all in Kenya's face how you want to be Miss Principal of being on time and punctuality, but you're not. In my opinion, yeah, Kenya, you always the one running around, wanting to be on the high horse about being on time, but you were late, but... Like Kenya said, Nene, you're on 10. I'm gonna need for you to turn it down to a 2. Nene was actually amped up before this whole ordeal with Kenya started because she was trying it. And she tried it through them questions. See, Nene's a, Nene's a very cunning little cunt, honey. Okay, first of all, you came for Portia with that bisexual question because you didn't have to call her out like that. You're supposed to be trying to be friends with her. You're supposed to be at least trying to be cordial with the girl, but you did call her out. And Portia was like, come on, Nene, let's not be shady because you did call the girl out on having a bisexual man. That wasn't very cute. Once again, you're coming for somebody that has nothing to do with you. Very, very nasty, Nene. 
Then, you wanted to start up the whole big confusion. Nene, take it how you want to take it. I love you when you're right, but when you're wrong, you're messy and you're nasty. That question, when you wanted to say, let's keep it 100, let's be real, you, you, you did not have to go there. You could have left that at home, but you could have left that, matter of fact, in the hood of Atlanta where you came from because that was just pure nasty. You brought up that whole little situation with, with Kenya and that other no-name girl that was on the show. You brought that whole ordeal up, and that's how this whole thing popped off. But in my opinion, where did Apollo come from? Apollo, like, literally came out of nowhere and just took the boy Brandon by his neck and then threw him up on the floor. He really had flashbacks of his prison. I really felt like... He had just a whole reenactment of what was going on in jail. He just saw mobs of people maybe during lunch time in prison. And he just thought that it was like feeding time. And he literally pounced on this young gay male. I really felt like all of this was just second nature to him. Like, this is what he does best, you know. And Apollo, shade for you, stripes does not look well on you these days. But anyway... So Apollo out of nowhere just jumps on the dude, Peter jumps on the dude, and you know, they're trying to protect him from Miss No Name and her husband, and honestly, in my opinion, that old man was not about to throw down with that young gay queen. So I don't know why all of these men had to gang up on him, and then Nene all of a sudden wants to take it to the whole, you know, to the hood and get real gangsta Atlanta, get very much so the underground mall, you know, she just wanted to just get very hood and just jumps all up in Kenya face and, you should have got out of your seat, you should have got out of your seat. Let's just be very clear about this. She did get up to talk. I don't think that she got up to fight anybody or put her hands on anybody. It's, it's, it, in my eyes, it didn't look like that. But, you know, he did not have to grab the girl. It could have been another female to grab Kenya if they thought that it was going to escalate to that. You didn't have to put your hands on her. First of all, you already had a problem with her, so you shouldn't have been touching her in the first place. You are. Let's just be very clear about it. I could have seen if Kenya jumped in his face and acting like she wanted to act like a dude, then I get it. But what I don't get is for you jumping up in a female's face. Well, excuse me, putting your hands on a female. You shouldn't have went there because she wasn't coming for you. She was coming for your girlfriend or your common law wife or the jump off or your Wall Street Journal hook. I don't know what you want to call her, but whatever you want to call her, whatever. Your, your wife, fine. Who cares? So, girl... Lunchtime. How long? She done melted. This is real good. It's slow churn, y'all. It's slow churn. But anyway, that was just going to be real messy. Nene, you knew what you were doing. I think you were in on it with them directors, too, and I should have put this whole little raggedy event together because you knew what you were doing when you called all them girls out. But anyway, on to Phaedra and Apollo. Ooh, Phaedra love her jailbird, honey. Yes, she does. She going to stand by her man. Child, it is not looking very good for you in the media these days. They are just reading her from left to right to right to left to left to right to right to left. Miss Phaedra, your boyfriend been out here boosting and mopping and doing all kind of shallow, shady things. Phaedra, you in danger, girl. You need to go ahead and leave this man alone. And go ahead and have a, pr a proper, you know, separation in private or whatever you're going to do because it's not looking good for Miss Apollo, child. He been out here doing fake identity theft, bank fraud, child, you know, writing false checks, doing false. He, see, he been into that white people stuff. You know, he, he's been getting the good coin, honey. Yes, he's not going to H&M putting stuff in his bag. He's getting the real, the, the big money. But see, you know what? He got caught up. You know, but girl, it's going to be okay. Can you believe all the drama that's popping off this week? I mean, Atlanta tea is just so messy. And I'm getting more, it's like you're getting more real tea from all of their real life things not on the show. Because the show is not going to give you this. The show, this, this, the media bloggers are just taking over with all this tea and this gossip, honey. So, I am living for this. Then you have, what's been going on else this week, girl? Child, I'm just sitting here, um, you know, I go from topic to topic, but I'm just sitting here giving you Madame Devotees from um, American Horror Story. Yes, coven, look at me, Voodoo Priest is here. But we also have the Grammys that went past. I did not watch the Grammys, and it seems as if, as if most people that live in L.A. that are in the industry or that work don't watch the Grammys either, because I've been like, did you see it? Did you see it? Did you see it? No, so what I did was I caught some of those bits, bits and pieces of things via, on the internet. Beyonce... Hold on. Y'all not gonna like me. <sighs> but every female knows that when you're trying on a dress and your hair is not done, the dress will not look good either. Now, I don't know who put you in this outfit. I don't know if Ty did it. Yes, Ty had to do it. But, girlfriend, what somebody should have did was that hair. I am not coming for Beyonce. I'm just being very real. Matter of fact, I am. Forget all that. Girl. 
What? Who? Who did not? Did they not look at the outfit? Did they not? Did they not look at the neckline? Did they not see that a hairstyle that you were rocking was not appropriate for the look that you were giving? I mean, you sold it with the look, but if your hair's not done, the outfit's not gonna work. I don't care how grand Beyonce is. If it's a mess, it's a hot mess. And to me, it was a mess because the hair not done either. Then the dress is not cute either. So by gone, poof, pow, it was a mess. What you should have done was pulled it back. It could have been a messy pullback. It could have been a ballerina bun. It could have been something of that nature to elongate the neck so that everything could have fought on the dress. The makeup was cute. You could have went without that lipstick, though. But the makeup was giving me it was okay. But that hair was not working for it. Yes, Beyonce does make mistakes. Her team can be flawed at times, which leads to this performance. Girl. Did you not get the memo? This not the Soul Train Awards. This not the Source Awards either. This not even BET. This the Grammys, ho. Huh? Like, um, the performance would have been cute if, in my opinion, if she would have saved it for something else. Because Beyonce, girl, no. Just, no, I, I don't think so. And then that hair, oh God, please. Why would you wet that hair? Why would you do that? Who is dressing this girl like Beyonce, girl, you did it with that album, honey, with this hairstyle. Let's just move on from this hairstyle, queen, because this is not working for you, girl. It ain't cute. I mean, literally, during the performance, it... Have y'all seen that video of that queen that's going on around the internet? And he got them oodles and noodles on his head. Every time I see Beyonce, all of, all of a sudden I just think about Romans, oodles and noodles and hot sauce. Like... I really want to just go inside of my kitchen and just start making oodles and noodles and hot dogs. Like, I literally just thought I just want to just start making a, a home cook ghetto meal because it's just, it's not working. And we will see what you do next, what you should have done. It's about time that Beyonce has brought it back to her voice because she's an icon. She's a legendary, you know, but she's human. What you should have done was a ballad, a sick, nasty ballad that focused only on voice, honey. You should have slayed the awards for the blood of God, honey, on that stage. You should have gave them a nasty ballad. You should have gave, you should have took them back to the days of dangerously in love when you slayed for the gods of Gideon, Persia, and beyond, honey. But you out here shaking your behind and shaking your tail. I get that you're married. I get that it's for your husband. But what I don't get is that you didn't know, you didn't get the memo that you were going to the Grammys, honey. Because you, honestly, you were not in Grammys setup. You were not in Grammys mode. But on to the next, Ashanti showed up. And Ashanti showed up. But I was like, did Ashanti, was she invited or did she buy her own ticket? I'm not being shady, but I'm like, well, what are you doing here? But Ashanti showed up and she was done. Like, she was dressed. Like, literally her hair looked better than Beyonce's. Her look was better than Beyonce's. And I'm like, are you getting a Grammy? Because, girl, you, you showed up and you showed out. But you're not performing. But I'm happy she didn't come because she did look good. I'm, like, surprised. I mean, she was everything to me. Then Fantasia showed up, girl. Like, she didn't caught about the daggone casket. You know, Fantasia is looking good these days. But the, I don't know who dressed. Who's dressing these people for the Grammys? Like, do people not get the memo? Do they not get the message? Y'all need to hire me. Hire me. Matter of fact, I will do you for free. Because, baby, I don't understand these looks that half y'all are giving. And it's just so messy. Are we not getting the memo? Hello? I mean, girl, I'm done. But, um, we was just talking and having a good time on Facebook. You know, I don't really get much time to be at home and just be able to talk to my good, good girlfriends like we're doing right now. But, girl, it was just a mess. What do you think of Phaedra and Apollo and this whole going to jail thing? Because you know he gone. He gone. Girl, goodbye. The Lord has blessed me. He's gone. What do you think about that? Leave it in the comment, please. What do you think about Beyonce's hair, her performance, the dress. What do you think? You know, we can talk. This is what good, good girlfriends do. We talk, we debate, we disagree. But anyway, what do you think about Nene starting all this drama, honey? This is just so messy. I gotta go. Girl, let me go ahead and just... I didn't finish the cup. I didn't finish it. I'm hungry. I'm gonna some oodles and noodles. We'll be on say yeah. Bye. <laughs>